Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to STS Presents. I'm Lucas Siska. In this special edition, we're going to focus on 10 different products, 10 different swim aids that can make your frustrating uh, issues with your stroke become easy and actually teach you how to do it. Not to mention a couple of things that will make you faster, free speed in the water. So let's dive in. Guys, do you feel like this when you try to kick across the pool? Or do you feel like this when you're trying to catch your breath in swimming? Don't worry, you're not alone. A lot of people feel that way. So let's, let's try to get comfortable. There are three main aspects I wanna focus on when talking about these products. And the three main parts of your stroke that I feel that are most important. That is body position, the catch or the pull, and the kick. So let's start with swim aids and products that can help your body position. Body position is the most important part of swimming because if you have bad body position, you're gonna be wasting a lot of energy. With good horizontal body position, everything becomes easier. So to get your body horizontal, we need some help. All right, I have a video on this on how to teach you how to do it without any swim aids, but we all could use some, some help when it comes to this. All right, the first product that I want to tell you about is buoyancy shorts. Yes, that's right, buoyancy shorts. You put them on, they actually help your lower half float. Um, by, by learning how to feel the correct position with the buoyancy shorts, you will be able to feel the correct body position. All right, so number two, ankle buoy. All right, this is like a normal pool buoy, but it's for your ankles. You actually put it around your ankles and it will make your feet be in the correct position uh, where you're supposed to be when you have uh, the correct body position. So if you swim with the ankle buoy, you will again learn how to feel where the correct body position lies. All right, so if we're talking pool buoys, number three, let's talk about the normal pool buoy. So we, we have buoyancy shorts, we have an ankle buoy, but we could also use a normal pool buoy that is used in between the legs all the way up, all the way up, and that will also aid you in keeping your body horizontal on the water. And then you can focus on your, on your catch, and that's what we're gonna talk about next. Number four. When we're trying to figure out how is the best way to catch water, to feel the water, uh, we need to be able to see what our arms are doing. And there's no better way to see what your arms are doing by not having to breathe, but constantly looking at them. And we can do that with a special uh, swimming snorkel. Now, I'm not talking about a scuba snorkel that you used to go scuba diving in Barbados. I'm talking about a proper swim training snorkel. Yes, you put that in between your mouth, and when you swim, you can look at your catch, you can focus on your pool, and it's just one uh, less thing that you have to do, breathing, that allows you to just focus on what you're supposed to be doing. All right, you can't talk about the catch and pool uh, without talking about this next item, and that is hand paddles, all right? When you have hand paddles, I like to use the Roca uh, hand paddles. They have different sizes. Uh, they're, the, they're one of the best uh, hand paddles on the market, I believe because they really allow you to feel the water correctly. Now, I'm gonna tell you, these hand paddles come with wrist straps. Take those wrist straps out. Make the strap fit your middle finger only, leave the rest alone, and then when you pull, you will actually be able to pull, it will force you to pull correctly. If you have the wrist straps on, it, it's a little bit of a crutch because it's holding the paddle on you, and when you pull through, uh, even if you pull incorrectly, the paddle is there. But if you keep the finger strap on only without the wrist strap, the paddle will actually fall off if you don't finish your stroke correctly. So I highly recommend these paddles, and uh, you will, of course, be able to find them in the description. Most people have heard about hand paddles, but not everybody has heard about finger paddles. 
Now this is very specific to the catch. They're smaller paddles, of course, just like the name suggests, they are just around your fingers. They don't actually stretch across your whole hand. And this really allows you to focus on your initial catch. By focusing on the initial catch and starting your stroke off correctly, you will learn how to pull more water. So a great tool for this are the finger paddles. All right, so we've talked about body position. We've talked about the catch. Now the third element that I wanna focus on is the kicking, of course. And we can't uh, improve our kick without having the classic kickboard. Still, nothing beats having a kickboard uh, to help you learn how to kick properly. You can do all kinds of different drills with a kickboard, single leg kicking, double leg kicking, or simply just to improve your leg strength. Uh, you know, kicking normally, uh, doing sets of three 100s kick, four 100s kick, 10 100s kick. Uh, kickboard is huge in teaching you how to swim, uh, kick properly. Then of course, uh, to improve our ankle flexibility and learn how to feel the water better on our feet, uh, I highly recommend getting the fins that I have in the description. You don't want to get heavy, bulky fins uh, that will, especially if you're a new swimmer, that will uh, be more of a strength workout. I'm looking at the type of fins that will actually help your technique. And I will put that type in the description. And it's the kind I use and find most useful in my triathlon training. Now, number nine and 10 on this product list is actually what will improve your race swimming. If you're a triathlete or an open water swimmer, uh, these items, of course, you might be familiar with already, but if you're not and new to the sport, they will dramatically increase your speed in the water. And the first of that is if the water is warm and you're not allowed to use a wetsuit, uh, I recommend this Roca sp uh, Speed Skin Suit. Uh, believe it or not, guys, uh, you can wear this over your triathlon suit and when you swim with it, it will actually make you faster in the water. Uh, it depends what level swimmer you are, but you can gain seconds on the 100 and over a long distance that, that can add up to being minutes, free speed. All right. Then number 10, the wetsuit, the classic wetsuit. There's all kinds of different wetsuits out there, but my personal favorite is Blue 70, the Helix version. That's what I wear. I love the shoulder mobility and the buoyancy that you can get from it uh, feels very natural and good, unlike other wetsuits that make you feel quite bulky in the water. And uh, even though they are providing buoyancy, they, uh, they just feel restricting. So I highly recommend this wetsuit, the Helix Blue 70, uh, to help you in your swim training. Um, you can use these skin suits and wetsuits in a swimming pool to actually help you with all the above techniques that we just talked about. The body position, the catch, and the kick. Uh, by wearing a wetsuit and, and making you buoyant without having to think about it, it's much easier to focus on, focus on all these different aspects. Guys, all these products that I just listed, I will put the specific ones that I use and think are the best in the description. I'll list the different sizes. I'll, all you have to do is click the link and it'll take you right to it and get you what you need to, to, to have, to be a, a more comfortable swimmer. So don't miss out on trying to learn how to swim easier and more effectively with these 10 different swim aids. With STS Presents, I'm Lucas Siska, and I love to hear from you. Take care for now.